Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about cross sections. So now I will show you how to answer. We know that the graph of ball show the base of an object, and we know that the cross section are square. So that means if we graph the function in here. I will show you more easy to watch. Here is about the base. If we look on 3D, so if the cross section are the square, that should be like this. So I will choose one cross section in here. And if we put them go up, this is about the square. Here is about the square of the this object in here. So we need to create the function to make sure that when we calculate about this interaction, we can calculate about the volume of the object, but the cross section in here, they are the square. So I will divide this one into two objects in here, from 0 to number 3 and from number 3 to number 7. We know that's the line in here. That's about y equals to s. This line in here, that's about y equals to negative s. This one in here, we see that this is about number 3. So y equals to number 3. This is about y equals to negative number 3. So we see that this is the square. That means y s minus negative s. We have one side in here. Should be equal to the top. That's about the, the side when we put the object go up. So that means this one minus this one. Because the cross section is about the square, that means two, two sides in here of this one should be equal. So we need to put the power 2 because the area of the square, that's about a, a multiplied by a. So that's why we have this function minus this function, everything to the power of 2. And we have the interaction from 0 to number 3. Now, let's go to the second one. We start, we start from number 3 to number 7. So we have the interaction from number 3 to number 7. So we have 3 minus negative number 3. Everything to the power of 2. And we have the S in here. Now we just calculate 2 intervals in here. This one, negative, negative we have positive so we have to ask to the power of 2 and we have the interaction from 0 to number 3 the ask this one we have 6 square 
ds this one we have for s square the integration of s square we have s to the power of 3 over 3 and we put the bounds from 0 to number 3 so we put number 3 go in here number 0 go in here and now we have the final answer that is about 36 this one we have 36 And we have 36 S. We put the bound from number 3 to number 7. We calculate about this one. We have 144. So we sum two numbers together and we have the final answer. That's about 188. This is the end. Thank you for watching.